Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to extract tar files, or tar balls as they're commonly known, uh, in Windows. So tar files are usually associated with the Linux and Mac OS operating systems, but if you need to get the files out of one, you could do so in Windows. So we're going to show you how to do it uh, via the GUI and also the command line. So I have this Apache Tomcat tar.gz file here, so I want to extract the files out of it. If I double click it, Windows doesn't know what to do with it and wants to find an app to open it with, which you could, if you have an app you could, that does it, you could pick it from that list. And if not, we're going to download and install the 7-zip file manager software, which is free to use. Uh, it's similar to WinZip, which will probably work as well, except WinZip's not free. So I already have that installed on this computer, but I'll put a link in the description so you can install it. So once you install it, go to your apps, look for 7-zip, and find 7-zip file manager. Then you want to browse to the location of your tar file. So this is on the desktop here. So there it is right there. Then if you double click it, you can see the contents here, folder, and then you could extract it by clicking on the extract button. You want to make sure, go back here, you click on the tar file. Don't just leave it like this and pick extract because it'll just extract the tar file by itself and you'll be exactly where you started from. So click that. So you see the folder and then you could extract this folder or you could go another level and extract individual files. But I'm just going to go extract the folder by clicking the extract button and you can pick where you want it to go. I'll just leave it on the desktop, click OK. Now there's the folder and if I open it, I'll have all my individual files right there. So pretty simple. But I've also heard that sometimes using uh, Windows programs like 7-Zip might have problems with a certain type of tar file. So that's why we're going to show you the command line option instead in case you want to try that as an alternate method. So I have a uh, command here set up for this file so it's tar with these switches the source location which is the desktop and then the file name then dash c and then where you want it to go so uh, so i want it to go to the desktop and apache folder but i don't have this apache folder here so i'm going to make it real quick just because i don't want it to extract a bunch of individual files on the desktop there so you want to open an administrative command line. So to search CMD, run as administrator. And now we could copy and paste this line in here. By copying it, oh, I'll put that in the description as well. Right clicking paste, press enter. Okay, so that's that. Now if we go to the folder here, we have it right there, and it should look the same as this one here. Which it does, so pretty simple to do. So I would probably recommend doing the command line method, but if you don't like to use the command line, you could use the 7-zip to extract your tar files, and you'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.